Hi guys and welcome to Bomb Anime. It's your girl Ruka. And Big Boy Summer here bringing you Don't Hurt Me My Healer Part 2 Uh Oh Nut. Alright so this anime basically is about a guy, warrior Alvin, who ends up partying with Clara, a healer who is um, hit and miss about her job title and very insulting so yeah that's that's basically our starting point for this anime we've mentioned it before i play eso ruka plays eso which is elder scrolls online for guys who don't know and sometimes we play a healer class and the job of the healer is to make sure nobody dies <laughs> but when your enchantment spells are actually hurting guys <laughs> and their enchantment is making them tasty and having a better mouth feel we already know that you're going to be horrible at your job clara is one of the worst healers i've ever seen not only does she not heal she also had lots of demonic sort of necromantic spells and she's actually very powerful yeah she is powerful but she does seem to lack control because when she intends to do one thing sometimes something else completely different actually happens also we've got the character of alvin he was used for a lot of the comic relief he was the butt of almost every single joke but I wasn't actually sure whether his character was supposed to be dumb or not because yes they did have him as this comic relief and they did have him acting as sort of the stupid one but then at the same time he quickly picked up on the strange things about Clara like her summoning and her curse magic and he questioned if she was actually a healer at all and he did this pretty early on in the anime and he repeatedly questioned like what exactly are you? Are you really a healer? So if he was supposed to be this dumb character, I would expect that he wouldn't pick up on things like that. You know what, I can see where you're coming from and you're probably right in a normal setting. But as we know, this is not a normal setting. Look, Clara blackmails him into being in the party with her by cursing him to die if she is so ever many distance away. It just starts to party off on the bad foot. And rather than being the kind of party member that actually encourages and gets their team members to be the best they can, she steals the limelight by solving every single mystery with Tort no Jutsu. Or she's insulting Alvin the whole time. His reactions are just that, reactions. And apparently that is funny. Okay, but to be fair on Carla, he is extremely incompetent. He's been an adventurer for all this time and yet he's a level 100 beginner. His ranking is zero. It's actually an impossible ranking for him to be zero. It starts at one, your ranking starts at one star, but he has zero. In fact, his ranking test laughed at him and it's not the first time because he'd done it five times before. So this is the sixth ranking and the paper laughs at him. It literally lols. So... <laughs> What is encouragement going to do for a guy that couldn't become better on his own in all this time? Why is he even an adventurer? Yes, I have to agree with you there. Why is he an adventurer? I don't get it because the first time we see him, he's fighting a bear and barely making it. Then everything after that has been no fights except for at the very end. He has absolutely no way of improving because he works out every day. He practices his sword skills every day and it's just not working. Really and truly, Alvin, give it up, fam. Give it up. So during this anime, although they do have quite a tumultuous relationship, they did actually share a moment where Alvin thanks Clara for her efforts, even though he did say, you know, those efforts don't always go the way that they're supposed to, but he thanked her and she really seemed to appreciate it and it made me think that maybe the way that she's always talking bad about him is actually not her real persona and i think we see this in her moments of shyness whenever he brings light to how shy she is she usually starts insulting him so i feel like her insult and the mean nature of her is a front to hide her real personality yeah she's trying to be a sundere and it's just not working I have to wonder about this guild because Clara and Alvin broke a table so the guild decided to send level 0 Alvin and Clara to a haunted house where nobody leaves alive. The punishment did not fit the crime. I don't know what kind of weird crap that they are running here but it just seems over the line. Just ask them to pay for the table, it's not that big of a deal. 
and they're getting upset that it's causing a lot of trouble for the girl when it turns out that the bad guy is the person that she tried to put in jail in the first that is true so really and truly the guild owes them a favor and i don't see how they couldn't tell that brigand was a brigand or prison as clara would put it how do you not know that he's the bad guy so actually now that you're mentioning that clara actually did have this thing this theme going on along in the episodes where she was doing things to f up and in in order to cover for herself she would make up a lie about the person and it always turned out to be true she accused the witch of being a witch because she had effed up and it turned out she was a witch the same thing with the the prisoner brigand or whatever the hell his name was turning out to be the bad guy but okay he did look like a thug come on everything that she said ended up being true and through her horrible personality she ended up like you said using talk no jutsu to save the day yeah, she, she had horrible traits that just ends up being right. So I guess the question is big, if you're right, does it matter how you get there? It probably does. And also Alvin now knows that the curse, whether it existed in the first place or not, has now been broken and he's still decided to stay with Clara. So I don't want to hear any more complaints from him anymore. He clearly likes it. No, but the crown said that it might come back if you're not with me. So therefore, he's saying he's staying with Clara in order to hedge his bets so that the curse doesn't come back. The crown also said that him and Clara were from another world and were lovers and came back, blah, blah, blah. And that was all a lie. So the crown is a lying piece of So that's really no reason to listen to anything that he had to say. Touche. To the verdict. Was this one heart or just a waste of time? This was so, so, so a waste of my time. It was rubbish in my opinion. It's not the anime for me. I get what they were trying to do. Use slapstick comedy in a non-serious way in order to just put out episodes, but it's just not for me. Don't know what the plot is. Don't know what the purpose is. Don't know who the audience is because I thought it was for really young kids, but then there were really inappropriate jokes. And the thing that the anime relies on, which is humour, is more miss than hit. It was a complete failure. So it was a waste of time. And there you have it. Both me and Big Boy Sam I have said that this anime was a waste of our damn time. And if you believe differently, put it in the comments why. Because we're trying to find out too. And if you just want to DM us, bomb anime insta, or one word. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And if you made it this far, we really do appreciate you. Peace.